Dr. Sarah Eastler is Director of International Programs and Study Abroad here in the Haslam College of Business, and she is joining me today. So, Sarah, uh, welcome. Thank you for having me. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, International Programs and Study Abroad. So, what is going on and what do my students need to know? So much is going on, but what they mostly need to know is that there are a ton of different ways to study abroad in Haslam. There's a couple, though, in particular that we really wanted to talk about today because there's upcoming deadlines. And that's what we hope to make everybody really aware of is that we have all these really great programs. Some of them are longer. Some of our students go on exchanges or on affiliates where they have these really you know, long experiences like semesters, summers, those kinds of things. But we also have these amazing programs inside the college that are led by our faculty. It's our credit. And they're great ways to get abroad and see a lot of what's going on out there and really get involved in the local businesses, local government. Sometimes we have service projects. And so these are ways to study abroad that earns our credit. You don't have to worry about, is it going to transfer? Is it going to count? Any of those things. It's definitely going to transfer because it belongs to us. And we have a great chance to go out there and just see what's going on in that particular location, kind of like using the location as a lab for understanding all the concepts that we talk about in the classroom. And so, for example, some of the programs that we have um, deadlines coming up for, we have a program that is sort of different than the others. It's our Latin America program. And it's one where we spend the first eight weeks of spring in the classroom. So spring one is in the classroom, but then spring break is abroad. And so we talk about all of these business concepts. We learn about international business. We prepare for pre-departure, all of those things. And then semester, the excuse me, the spring break is in Santiago, Chile. And so we're really there seeing it. Um, it's summer in the Southern Hemisphere. So the weather is wonderful. It's fantastic. But we're going into businesses and really trying to understand the Latin American business culture. It's a ton of fun. We actually have a lot of um, fun things that we build into. So it's not all work and no play. Um, in this program, we hike in the Andes. You can go horseback riding on that trip. We do all kinds of really fun things in the city as well. And so it's a great way to get abroad in sort of a quick way. It's also an inexpensive way to do it because we can nest the spring tuition into that too. So you're just paying for your program fees and flights. So and so in a, in a case great. like that, then they would take normal spring semester courses since they're here. Right. Um, That's and exactly then, right. And the, the excursion happens in spring break. So it wouldn't yes. like affect sequencing or anything like that. Absolutely right. And it saves them that money of that tuition because we're embedding it in their spring load. So you're not paying extra tuition to go. It's just part of your, yeah. your spring load. And it's, it's really, it's efficient because it's fast. And so for anybody who needs to study abroad because their international business concentrations or collaterals, they can get that taken care of and earn three hours of either IB credit or for some of our students who are in the new VOLCOR, it can satisfy mm -hmm. also their GCI requirements, so Global Citizen International. So it can satisfy either IB or that, which every one of our new students needs a GCI satisfaction. Well, outstanding. Now, in terms of uh, in terms of sequencing, so so this course um, is uh, Finance three hundred six. So we're almost all. Mm -hmm first semester juniors, maybe a few mm -hmm. second semester juniors right now. And yeah. so is this is, or is this sort of the pipeline for, for, for the current students? Absolutely. Most commonly, our students are going abroad sort of in that, you know, junior space or even rising senior space. That's when we see a lot of students going abroad, mostly because the prereqs have been satisfied, right? Mm -hmm. So if you're in finance 301 or 306 right now, You've already taken Management 202, and that's the prereq for many of our programs. And so it's really, it's just a sweet spot to go. All of our credit is sort of upper division credit, so it's just a really great time to go. You've got a lot of foundational business knowledge. It makes it, you know, a much more sort of interesting conversation when you know all of those things about, you know, business workings. Yeah. So it's it's a really it's a sweet spot, which is true for our faculty directed and those longer experiences that I mentioned, because any prereq that you might need, you will have had by that point, by the yeah. time you're in the course. So so my current students then, uh, really any student, um, if they want to go, uh, they want to do this in the spring. So right now it's uh, mid-November, almost Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. So what do they need to do right now? So what they need to do right now for anything... 
if you're looking for a future study abroad, it's always a good time to come in and visit with our office. We can answer any questions that you might have, especially if you're thinking about a longer experience like a semester or a summer where we are transferring in credit. We want to have those conversations as soon as possible because we can help you figure out what courses to take now, which ones to maybe sit on in reserve, you know, how to be sort of strategic and all of that. Mm -hmm. If you're thinking about instead one of these faculty directed programs like Latin America or any of the others, we have a half dozen others, by the way, that are also on deck. It's time to just apply, frankly. So November 30th is going to be the priority deadline for all of our summer programs. And it's the final deadline for the Latin America program that I mentioned. So November 30th is that sort of like blinking beaker of an upcoming Mm -hmm. date that's Mm -hmm. coming. So um, the application itself is really, really easy. Surprisingly, most of the information we're pulling from Banner One can apply for any of these programs in about a half hour for our faculty directed. That's how easy they are. And we have a QR code that will take you to all of those different applications that you can just connect to. It'll take you to a link tree so you can see everything that's on offer. Um, But November 30th really is that deadline. So I said final for Latin America, which is true. And then December 1st, we'll review, start getting invitations out as quickly as we can. For all of the others that are occurring in May, which is the other sort of sweet spot is for May programs. Those are ones where it's the priority deadline. And what that means is that you can apply to your favorite, we'll review it, and you can secure your space early because many of our programs actually will fill up way before May. And so this is a good chance to get in there, lock down your program, secure your space. Mm -hmm. And these are ones that are in Germany. We have a program in Munich that's in May. We have South Africa, which is international business and social entrepreneurship, which is awesome. And frankly, when are you going to go to South Africa on your own? Um, We have Spain, we have Italy, we have Iceland, and we have Greece, which is specific to supply chain students. And so, so many awesome destinations. I can imagine as I'm saying these places, students can start to see why we would want to secure our seats early because once they're full, they're full. And if we have available spaces, we'll extend into a February 1st deadline, probably actually moving it to February 15th. Stay tuned to Haslam Headlines for updates, but um, but really locking in that space by either the final deadline or the priority deadline of November 30th is it's really kind of critical for a student that really knows that they need to go and want to go. OK, great. Well, well I will have the QR code available for all of my students. I'll also. Um, so I, I'm I'm a parent of, of college students, too. So the, so uh, I, I like to know these things for uh, about my kids. And so for for, for my students. I'll provide a link to this video as well. So if you want to send that to your parents um, Mm -hmm. so they can see it, so they can know all that's going on, uh, they can certainly uh, do that. But um, so uh, just to kind of recap, though, uh, November 30th, that's that's the big that's the big Mm -hmm. deadline for the spring experience. But also uh, they really need to get to go get going so that they can uh, see what's out there and secure their spots. Uh, Well, well, Dr. Eastler, thank you so much. And hopefully uh, some of my students will be coming your way. Wonderful. And don't hesitate to reach out, folks. If you ever have any questions, we have an entire team here in Haslam that's dedicated to you and making sure that we have sort of answered any questions, made this a smooth transition. We can appreciate that for some students, they may just walk right on a plane and it's a breeze. That's fine. We also know that many of our other students need a lot more support than that. And we are happy to help you. We'll meet with you a hundred times if that's what it takes to make you feel really great about that decision. Two things that you should tell your folks, though, as you're thinking about study abroad that I want to just squeeze in here, if you don't mind, it is an investment, but there is an actual return on your investment to study abroad. So I'm not kidding. These are actual data points that came. They're nationally known data points, but we've actually dug deep into those here in Haslam. So we know these to be true. Our students in Haslam that are studying abroad, they're graduating more and they're graduating faster and not by a little bit, folks, by 15 and 20 percent. So these are great ways to accelerate your time to graduation and to sort of satisfy all your requirements because most of them are occurring, you know, in spring break in May. So you can actually increase your speed to graduation if you wanted to. It's a good way to do that. Another thing is for students who study abroad, that first salary at graduation actually reflects that. So for our students at the median salary, they're earning about $5,000 more in their first salary out of college. So employers are looking at this. They want to know that you have global experience. They want to know that you're bringing these skills and values into the workplace and they're willing to pay for it. So just know that it is an investment and we see it like that too. So the time and effort and funds that you might put into study abroad does actually pay off and we can prove that. All right. Well, thank you so much, Dr. Eastler. 
My pleasure. Thanks for having me. And we hope to see you all on study abroad. All right. Thanks.